Hi, I'm Cole. Uh, I just graduated Tufts University with a degree in geological sciences. So I heard about the Geo Intern program actually through a former advisor of mine. Checked it out and it looked really cool. So the first two weeks uh, it was science communication training, which was which was really interested in me. So some of the skills we actually learned in science communication training um, were directly how to report hazard risk. Uh, this is something that I find really useful because it's something that I think I need to know uh, if I have the career that I want to. And we had real lessons on how to do that, including a um, like a mock eru eruption event and how to report that. And then just as it happens, like uh, a week, a week or a week and a half later, there's an actual eruption on La Palma, and we're we're tweeting about it, we're talking about it, we're doing the things that we actually learned about, which was really amazing. So in week three, we were out with uh, Dr. Richard Brown from Durham University in the field studying pumice falls. Um, this was really great because it was new research, things that hadn't been done before, and this was a chance to do new things, which is something that you don't get so much as uh, when you're in school until until later down the line. So, so in week four, uh, we were up in the National Park um, working with uh, Pablo Gonzalez at CISIC, uh, doing geophysical research. Again, new research that hasn't been done before. Um, and I found it really interesting because I hadn't done any sort of geophysical survey techniques before and we were taught how to use the equipment and uh, just set really set loose and figured out and I felt really comfortable. So on our days off, uh, Geo Tenerife organized excursions for us. Um, I think probably one of my favorite excursions that we did was we went to, got to go into a lava tube, um, which is something that I've never done before and is I thought might be scary or close quarters, but they're really, uh, really, really interesting structures. And we got to go deep, more underground than I've ever been before. Uh, we were also, in one of our excursions, able to take the cable cars up to the top of Taide uh, and then descend uh, down from Taide, which was an amazing hike. Uh, I lo love to hike, and I was when I was coming here, I was thinking to myself, well, I've got to, got to do Taide. It's the big mountain, it's the big volcano, and we were able to, to do that, and it, it was really, really wonderful. W one Saturday, we were able to go uh, actually whale watching and dolphin watching, which was which was really amazing. You only had to go about 10 minutes offshore and they're everywhere. I've, I've been on a whale watch before and it took like an hour and a half to get out into the ocean to actually see to see them. So it was amazing how close they are and how close the, the drivers can get to them. And uh, after the after we saw the animals, we got to go and swim in the, uh, in the ocean in a cove in beautiful clear water. And it, yeah, it was, it was amazing. Not something I even expected to get out of a geology uh, geology-based internship, so. The main thing that I've learned here is I've gained a lot of confidence in myself, uh, completed a degree, and I've not quite gone out into the workforce yet, but it's really nice to come here and be learning all these amazing things and have it make sense and have it be challenging, but still something that I can understand and feel like I can contribute to, especially with the, the new research that we were doing. I felt like I was contributing a lot to that, and that's a good feeling. My advice, uh, particularly for American students, is that it's a long way away. The flight's pretty expensive, but it's uh, it's definitely worth it. It you come out here, and you don't know exactly. At least I didn't know exactly who I was going to meet and who I was going to learn from. Um, and everyone's just of the highest quality. The students and the uh, uh, the people that come in to talk to us. And um, my advice would be to just take take the chance. You know, it's a long way away, but absolutely worth it.